Hello and welcome to my channel. Today a um, quick and easy one. Um, it's about how to create this star field you can see here. You can use it in Cycles as well as in Eevee and it's um, actually pretty easy to do. So let me quickly jump over to the shading tab. I already prepared the nodes of course, but um, let's build them from scratch. What you want to do is um, you want to create a noise for the stars. Uh, you can do that in two ways, either create a Voronoi texture or a noise. Um, I found out that the Voronoi texture works better, in my opinion, so I'm going to create this one. So I press Shift A, type in Voronoi texture and um, plug it into the color, the distance maybe? I don't know. Yeah, and uh, with uh, Control T, I added a mapping and a texture coordinate node. Right now, the fields are way too big, so we have to scale them down. Let's scale them to, let's say, I think in my reference I used 500. Let's put in 500. And we just want to invert them. So let's press Shift A, type in invert, invert color. So, and uh, what you want to do now is um, you want to clamp it. So give it a, a color ramp, push it down. And there you go. Um, if you want more or less stars, you can basically play with the scale, 300 for example. See, get less of them. And if you want even fewer stars, you can uh, just uh, enter an even lower number. Uh, just uh, make sure that they are not getting too big because when you scale them down then uh, the stars are getting a bit bigger so you have to play with the color ramp. Anyway, let's put it back to 500. I have a sunlight in here. I think it's this one. Yeah. It's just a, a sunlight in the scene. We have no lighting here. If you want that, um, you can uh, add that really easy by going ahead and put in a light path. And you want to define what's for the camera ray. This one, this node is important here. Um, you want to define what is for the uh, camera, what sees the camera and uh, what, what is for the environment, basically. So um, just put in a mix color and uh, plug the camera ray into the factor. So what you can see now is that we see the background is gray like this color here, and it doesn't affect the overall lightning. Doesn't matter which color I use, um, this is basically the background. So what we need is we want this, the star field, in the background, and now we can define the overall lightning with this little slider. So that's basically it for um, Eevee. Let's switch to Cycles real quick. For Cycles, it's also very easy to do. Either you go ahead and just put in um, a sun lamp into the scene, like this one here. This uh, gives you uh, good results, but you can also go ahead and put it into the world nodes. You can put in a sky texture in here. So um, I already prepared that one. Um, as you can see, if I just put that one into the background, right now, because, the, let's see, the air is, this is like, I think these are the standard values, yeah, let's see, you can play around with the um, elevation, also, let's see, where is the sun, here is the sun. Remove the air and also the dust. You get this. Give it a little bit more elevation, maybe. So you get these really harsh shadows now, which is, uh, I think, very cool. Also, maybe it's too intense. We don't want these uh, sh shadows, but actually it looks pretty good right now. I would keep that. But uh, you can also put in a mix color. Plug that one into uh, here. And here again it's the same setup with the star field yeah and now you can control the uh, overall um, intensity of um, 
off the sky text, you see? The, the, the shadows disappear now. So that, in a nutshell, is how to create a star field really quickly in Blender. I hope you like it. If so, give me a like, follow me, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.